The Lost Galaxy series has been one of the most loved by fans and is still well remembered by all. This series has 45 episodes and premiered in February 1999, basically 24 years ago. This means that in 2024 this series will celebrate its 25th anniversary and we don't know if the franchise will make any tribute to this series. What we do know is that Lost Galaxy had very good characters and an excellent story. The question is, what has happened to the lives of all these actors? Let's start with Valerie Vernon, the actress who played Kendricks Morgan, the Pink Ranger. Before we talk about the actress, I want you to know a little bit about how important this character was. She is so important that Hasbro recently released her new action figure, plus this was the first ranger to die in battle because she sacrificed herself to end evil. This character appeared in 33 episodes of Lost Galaxy and one episode of Lightspeed Rescue. Basically, these were the only projects that the actress did in her life since she never appeared in anything else, except in Time Force when she played the voice of Contemptra. This actress had to leave the series because she was diagnosed with leukemia, and this is why they decided to end the character since the actress was going to be in treatment. Valerie now works as an interior designer and proudly represents her character everywhere, including her social media. Now let's talk about the Green Ranger, Damon Henderson, who was played by Reggie Rawl and appeared in 46 episodes of Power Rangers. He basically appeared in 44 episodes of Lost Galaxy, one episode in the Lightspeed Rescue series, and one episode in Super Megaforce in the Legendary Battle. We can also say that he appeared in the special 30th anniversary episode as he was one of the Rangers that Rita transformed into a small figure. This actor, besides working in Power Rangers, also appeared in three episodes of two different series between 2001 and 2004. Also, in that same year he appeared in a movie, but his last participation in any filming was in the legendary battle in 2015. However, he founded an artist management company to help new talents to grow in their career. This actor is not very active on his social media and since 2020 we do not know if he has attended any other Power Rangers event. Let's talk about the Red Ranger, Leo Corbett, played by actor Danny Slavin who is currently 49 years old. Besides being an actor, he is also a lawyer and sometimes posts pictures in his office accompanied by Power Rangers action figures. His acting career has not been only in Power Rangers as he has also appeared in some series and movies outside the franchise. According to the information we could find, this actor started being a Power Ranger to save money to start his career as a lawyer. He is inactive in his social media and his last appearance in any filming was in the legendary battle. However, he is part of a law firm dedicated to home and commercial litigation. Now let's talk about the Blue Ranger, Kai Chen, who also appeared in the special 30th anniversary episode as a small figure in the time machine. The actor who played this ranger is Archie Cao who is currently 53 years old and has had a very good acting career. The Power Ranger series was a small part of his career, and he is one of the few actors in the franchise who has a great acting career. The longest project of his career has been in the CSI series which ran from 2001 to 2012 and he appeared in 100 episodes. He has also appeared in many other series and movies, including projects in 2023 and projects that are currently in post-production. Despite all his success in film, he still always posts memories of his participation in Power Rangers. Let's talk about a special ranger, Magna Defender, but rather the second version of this character who was Michael Corbett played by actor Russell Lawrence. In addition to the Power Rangers series, this actor participated in several projects, including 23 episodes of another series that premiered after Lost Galaxy. Unfortunately, 
He has not participated in any big project since 2001 and he is not very active in his social media either. The only thing we know about him is that he participated in a short film called Power Rangers Shattered Past in 2022 playing his character Magna Defender. Now let's talk about one of the actresses with the longest career, Serena Vincent, the actress who played the Yellow Ranger, Maya. She is currently 44 years old and has participated in more than 70 projects. One of these projects is Jason David Frank's movie that is scheduled to be released in 2023 called Legend of the White Dragon. She is well known for the Power Ranger series, but the series in which she appeared in more episodes is the Disney series Stuck in the Middle in which she participated in 57 episodes from 2016 to 2018. Despite this, this actress continues to represent the Yellow Ranger in many events to share with the fans of the Power Ranger series. Besides being an actress and producer, she is also an author of children's books. Last but not least, let's talk about the villain of this series, Trakina, who has been one of the most recognized villains of the franchise. This character was played by actress Amy Miller, although she had a change of actress in other seasons. Currently this actress is 49 years old and participated in 33 episodes of the series. Before appearing in Power Rangers, she had participated in two series and after Lost Galaxy she appeared in a movie in 2001. She married Reggie Rawl, the actor who played the Green Ranger and because of this she changed her last name. She is now a professional makeup artist, but also appears in some Power Rangers events portraying her villain character. The Pink Ranger was also played by Melody Perkins who had the character of Karun and who had previously been a very recognized villain. You can see all the information about this actress in the before and after video of the In Space series. For now, these are all the main characters of this Lost Galaxy series, which has been very important for the franchise and was the beginning for many of these actors. Write in the comments which should be the next series to see the before and after. If you like Lost Galaxy, give like to this video and subscribe to travel to space like the Power Rangers.